presence of mastigonemes mastigonemes and uh, flimmers means hair like projections of mastigonemes and flimmers presence on the flagella the flagella are divided into the five types presence are divided into the five types first one is goes to stichonematic 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 first one second one is goes to pantanematic pantanematic third one is goes to acronematic acronematic fourth one is goes to pentachronematic pentachronematic fifth one is goes to animatic animatic there are the five types of there are the five types of flagellas are present the presence of mastigonemes and flimmers so very important here presence of mastigonemes means hair like projections and flimmers also hair like projections there are five types first goes to stichonematic stichonematic means for example this is a flagell blepharoplast at basal granule this is a but flagella this is a mastigonemes <coughs> is a orientation to the one side only one side only this type of uh, flagella we consider as a psycho stichonematic flagella for example is goes to euglena and the uh, astasia astasia there are two examples are goes to stichonematic next pentanematic and pentanematic is goes to this is about blepharoplast this is about flagella either side either side of flimmers and mastigonemes are present this type of the flagella we consider as pentanematic flagella it is goes to monos <coughs> polystoma and monas pyronema and monas pyronema pyronema and monas is example for the pentanematic next is goes to acronematic acronematic like the blepharoplast we should not presence of any flimmers and mastigonemes and the axial filament will be negated this type of is goes to acronematic acronematic best example is goes to chlamydomonas chlamydomonas okay chlamydomonas is goes to the examples of acronematic next is goes to pentachronematic like the blepharoplast this is a flagellum either side of mastigonemes or there but axial filament are negated by the pellicle this is negated by the pellicle this we consider as pentachronematic best example is goes to arsilas arsilas next is goes to animatic animatic means is a blepharoplast we consisting of the flagella like negated we should not presence of any Uh, flimmers and mastigonemes will goes to animatic will be there it is goes to cryptomonas cryptomonas okay example is goes to cryptomonas these are the type of the flagella in the presence of mastigonemes and flimmers first is goes to stichonematic pentanematic acronematic pentachronematic and animatic will be there these are the five stichonematic means orientation of one side of the flimmers and one side of mastigonemes are present we call as stichonematic example is euglena and astasia second one is goes to pentanematic that is have a blepharoplast either side of mastigonemes are present we call as pentanematic okay this goes to pyronema and uh, pyronema and monas is goes to best example for pentachronematic pentanematic third one is goes to acronematic this is a blepharoplast either side is goes to a uh, flagella but uh, axial filament is goes to negated is goes to acronematic best example is goes to chlamydomonas next is goes to pentachronematic pentachronematic means axial uh, flagellum will be there axial part is goes negated but either side of flimmerates and mastigonemes are present is goes to pentachronomory type of flagella that's goes to animatic animatic we should not pose as to the any type of the mastigonemes and flimmers we call as animatic it is goes to cryptomonas and chylomonas is best example for that this is goes to types of the flagella now we are finish pseudopodium and this goes to flagella and alta structure of flagella and types of the flagella or flagella movement let us go to we see that next locomotor organelle is goes to cilia